I'm doing a do-it-yourself video. I'm just thinking, um, I just want to share this thought with you in regards to uh, radiator and protecting your furniture from the radiator. So right now, this is a radiator that's located in my living room. The issue I have is that um, I don't really use this radiator. This winter alone, it's uh, February of 2023. This winter alone, we only used it one time. That one time when we used it, uh, that's when I noticed the issue. So. I have leather sofas, okay? The section that belongs here on this side, it's a uh, like a lazy boy end, and uh, we usually put it up against this radiator, and it comes around in the living room. There's, there's a lot of seating area. The We then make sure that this radiator is off. We shut it off with the knob, so it's never on. It's rare, rarely ever on. Like I said, we've only used it once. But one of the things I noticed when I did use it, and anytime we use it, I should say, we have to remove this section, the section that's missing right here, uh, the Lazy Boy section. We have, we have to remove it. We have to unclip it, unclip it, and move it up. Um, uh, move it uh, away from the radiator, okay? So uh, we, I noticed in the back of the Lazy Boy, I didn't, when you lay it back, it look it seems that the leather part, the back part, leather back part, this area here on the side, was rubbing against this these edges here on the radiator. So it was causing a lot of damage, which uh, we didn't know. I didn't notice. We didn't know. So anytime we put in the lazy boy, uh, when we press the button to put in the lazy boy seating. Basically, if this is the radiator, I mean, this is the sofa, it was rubbing against the edge like that. And these little ends here were causing so many issues. So I'm going to see if I come up. I, I thought of a temporary fix. I'd like to get something. Uh, I'd like to replace this with nice radiators. But um, I'd like to get something else just thinner. But for now, because we have to put the section back, I just came up with this quick idea and I'm just sharing it with you just in case you have the same situation so I bought three pieces of wood and basically the way it's gonna be and I'll show you the end product is that we're gonna have one piece of wood here another piece of wood here and I'm going to screw them together and sort of make a U and the wood when I put the section back the lazy boy section of the sofa back the lazy boy will rub against this piece of wood over rub against this sharp edge now i'm going to bring it up a little bit because i don't even i don't want the wood to make do any damage but the wood would would definitely do a lot less damage than the than this uh radiator ends here just this corners here were causing havoc in the back it's so sharp and it was rubbing against the leather so i'm going to take a screwdriver and screw and screw them together and lay it on top and I'll show you the end, the finished product. It should take me five minutes. Three pieces of wood from Home Depot, 10 bucks. Well, I'm done and I created like a U, a little house again. And you can buy this piece of wood. I purchased it at Home Depot. It was $10 for, I think it was uh, eight feet of wood and I cut them into uh, 30 inch pieces. Um, three 30 inch pieces, there's another piece left over, small piece. So basically it's going to now sit on top of my radiator like this. And now the leather seat won't get damaged by the edge here at all. The edge is completely covered and behind the piece of wood as you can see. So this was a quick do it yourself idea if you're in a pinch I'm in a pinch I just want to get the sofa over here before we are uh, we are getting um, something to cover this radiator behind the sofa for sofa but for now I uh, need to put the sofa back because that's gonna not be at this moment so I don't want to wait too long so I used uh, even uh, self-tapping screws I didn't even do the pre-drill holes I would do the pre-drill holes but I had these laying around so I used them
Okay, um, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Honey, what do you think? I like it. I think it's going to work perfectly. You think so? Okay, good. All right, hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye now. Bye.